My name is Thomas Beyer, and today I'll be working on my 92-240SX. On the last video, I got the power steering installed, got the reservoir made, got the hoses routed. So far, I've ran it, and there's no leaks. Today, I'm going to be installing my Innovate Wideband and getting it hooked up to the EMU Black ECU. Also going to install the transmission harness, which I do not have a transmission controller yet. I've ordered one. The only place that has a semi plug and play is from South Africa, so it's going to be a couple weeks before I get it. But I'm going to get those ran through under the dash, just over top of the transmission, because that's where the O2 sensor is. It's right next to the transmission. And if I can keep these wires hidden under the dash, that would look much better to me. But to start with, I'm going to get this cam cover put back on, just to clean this up a little more. Cam cover's on there now, it looks a little better. Now I'm going to work on making a hole to run the wires through. The plan is, maybe if I can run it right through here, it won't get in the way of the radio. If I go too far back and hide it under here, it's going to be near the drive shaft. So I think if I put it right there, the O2 sensor is right about here under the car. And that should work out just fine. So then I can run them under the dash, up under here, and here's where the computer is. I'll tie the wide band into that, and the transmission controller will be tucked up in here whenever I get it too. I guess I'm going to slap the steering column cover back on real quick. Once I got under the car and really looked at it, I don't I really need to drill any holes in anything, which I'd prefer not to. The wide band's right there. It'll follow the transmission harness up. I'll put some kind of something to zip tie these two. Probably use that hole there. And then it'll go over to the brake lines or the fuel line and go up through the grommet up there. And that should reach my transmission controller just fine without having to put any holes in anything well I got it all ran I'll make a mount where I have the zip tied and once I get all this hooked up and running I'll loom all this wire it goes up come up here and through the firewall when I did the ECU harness and hooked all the, or tried to intertwine everything to make all the gauges work, this is how the factory wires ran. With these zip ties like this, I'll get some new ones of those, and when I'm done and everything works, I'll loom this up too. It'll all look nice. I still got to figure out coolant temp and oil pressure where those wires are. Now I'm going to hook up my Innovate. To my EMU black. Well, that's gonna take a minute to figure out which wire to hook it up to because I wired this thing up maybe six months ago. And the engine runs. Most of it works. Just have to figure out what pin to put it in. Well I got my wide band ran in here and I can hook it up just to power ground on the signal. But kind of one of the reasons I bought this ECU in particular is because I can go directly to it with my wideband sensor instead of having to use an Innovate or anything else to go in between. So uh, I think I'm going to try that. And if I do that, I'm probably going to end up cutting up this connector. And I didn't bring my fancy crimpers home for crimping these, so it'll have to wait till tomorrow afternoon. Well, while I'm killing time today, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the stuff out of the way and vacuum it out. I had stripped out most of the, uh, the sound deadening a long time ago and never finished. And it's just kind of got some sticky stuff and it's still nasty. I think this was a cup ten years ago. It's not anymore. And I have, I believe, the full interior that I took out of this car. And I'm debating about putting it all back in. When I was younger, I was all gung-ho about gutting every car I had, but but now I think it looked nice with the interior. 
Well, I did some vacuuming and got a lot of stuff out of it. I don't have the carpet for it, but I do have the seats. I have the side panels. I've got the back trim. And I don't know what else I got back there. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move the car off the jack stands now and get it in the middle of the garage so I have a little more room to get into the back of it. I'll have to shuffle a lot of cars, though. A lot of cars and bikes just to get this thing out of here because there's not a whole lot of room to make that turn and get out of here. We'll work on that. Well, it made its first lap around the neighborhood, and so far no issues. A 
No leaks. Power steering. Finally, I finally got it blood all the way. It's not running too hot yet, but I haven't heard the fan come on. It's only on a very, very rough bass tune. Like these are the IAT wires. It's not even hooked up. It runs good enough to move. I'm afraid to do too much with it without a transmission controller. I don't want to kill that transmission. Since it's a pressure the governor is controlled by the computer. And I can't go too far because some of these tires are are bad, bad dry rotted. They are, they are bad. It was shaking pretty good going down the road. So I can only do too much until I get some tires. This is the next day. I remembered to grab my fancy crimpers. I googled it because I, you got an option of 4.2 or 4.9, and since I had an LC2, it uses a 4.9. So I know what these are going to need to be. So I'm just going to have to cut this off, pull this back, and use my multimeter to figure out what wire corresponds to which pin here. And then I'll know which wires to hook up to my computer. And hopefully it all works the first time. I got all the wire colors figured out for the Innovate harness to hook into the EMU black, EMU black. They all go to it, to the computer, all except for the red wire, the 12 volt hot. It gets its own fused power. Everything else goes, everything with WBO goes to the wideband. Hopefully. To get my 12 volts ran for the wideband heater power and also to go ahead and run a ignition hot wire for the transmission controller because I'm sure it's going to need one too. I cut all this back open. This is why I didn't loom it. kind of wish I didn't tape it like all the way now. Cut that open and run a couple more wires over the fuse block. I think there was some pre-existing ignition hots already I can just tap into, but I'll cut it open and find out. I wired it up about six months ago, so I don't remember. I've got the bulk of that harness peeled back. Luckily, I couldn't remember how many I had, but I've already got this wire here and this wire here. I'll go to this fuse. So I can use a factory fuse, I don't have to make anything else or mount any relays. I just have to solder these wires together. I'll solder this to that. This will be for my wide band. And I'll use this one for the transmission controller. And I don't remember what these do. I don't think they're important. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. I got the two hots wired in, soldered in. I'm going to leave this harness open because... I don't remember what all these wires I have cut off do. They probably don't do anything anymore. But I have yet to figure out the coolant temp and the oil pressure gauge. So I'm just going to leave that in case it is one of those. I've got it in here with the other wideband wires. A little solder, a little heat shrink. Now i got to get my laptop and, and hopefully it works because there's a... That's a lot of wires to play with. I did not get it right the first time, but I finally got it working. Now I can actually start kind of tuning it in. That's all I'm doing for today. I think tomorrow afternoon after work, I'm going to try to figure out the coolant temp sensor and the oil pressure sensor wires. The, uh, the coolant temp sensor on the, the Lexus was actually in the radiator, I think, so it, it's not in the engine harness that I have. And I don't think it has a port open already for one. 
Now it did have an oil pressure sending unit, so that I'll be able to work with. But I'll have to add a coolant temperature sensor somehow. It's got one for the computer, just not one for the gauge. Alright, I'm out.